the sands If you should return To that black down and the prison in Pluckers are the sore fingers again with hopefully another interesting little ditty for you. A classic song from about 1968 and uh, a band called Dave D, Dozy, Beaky, Mick and Titch. And a song called The Legend of Xanadu. Okay, big hit in the UK and quite a few countries uh, around the world. I'm not sure about the States, I think it was a lowly hit in the States, but uh, certainly around the world it was a fairly big hit for this band, okay? So, um, obviously got a very Spanishy feel to it, uh, so I'm in standard tuning, uh, no cap as doing it in the same key as the original record, okay? So, let's start off. The intro is obviously optional, you could go straight into the song um, with the... Uh, <laughs> that bit you know with the whip oh, oh get forgot to mention all you guys whips get them out <laughs> could be useful in this song get somebody to do some whipping at the same time so let's get to it um so uh starting off with a lazy a or an a chord whichever you want to play right so what i'm doing there is i'm playing a lazy a uh, barring the second fret of the fourth third and second strings with the open a string Five down to two, then going up to the third fret on the second string, up to the fifth fret on the second string, the B string, okay? And that's where it goes. It's a bit of practice to do that. It's probably easy to do it nearer the bridge somewhere where it's stiffer. That sort of thing, yeah? So it's. Then a little pause and then. Play a B flat, a partial B flat chord, by playing moving the lazy A up one fret. So I'm barring the third fret of the fourth, third, and second strings with my first finger. Just playing those three strings. Okay, fourth, third, and second. So now you've got. Okay. And then what we do is. We go. Right, so so we hit that uh, bar, and then we go back down to the second fret on the top, uh, on the second string, sorry, the second fret of the B string. And we go down. Second fret up to the third fret, second string, up to the fifth fret, so up to the sixth fret, and then slide from six to eight. So now we've got this so far. Okay, so it's right, so that's second fret, third fret. 5th fret, 6th fret, slide up to 8th fret. Alright. 
then what we do is hammers hammers on and pull offs. So when you slide up to that eighth fret, and then you go from six to eight and back again, and then five to six and back again, and then three to five and back again, and then you go two, three, two, three, and then back up, slide up to five, and more of that fast tr uh, trill sort of thing. So, so far, very slowly. Do another of those B flats on the third fret, fourth, third, and second strings. Let me still go. So, so we go the, the bar up to the fifth fret on the second string, up to the sixth fret, to the top E string, third fret. And we go up to the 6th fret on the top E string, 5th fret, 3rd fret. So. And you do that twice. So you go. Okay, so. And what I do is go back up to the 5th fret. So after you've done that. 5th fret, 3rd fret, top E string. So after, to the 6th fret on the 2nd string, 5th fret on the 2nd string, 3rd fret on the 2nd string. Okay, so slowly, the whole thing. to the 5th fret on the 3rd string, 3rd fret, 3rd first 5th fret, 3rd third, uh, third string, G string, 3rd fret, 3rd G string, 2nd fret, so you got, to the 2nd fret, so it's 5th fret, 3rd fret, 2nd fret, and then we go to the 5th fret on the 4th string, 3rd fret 4th string, 2nd fret 4th string. So from that, sec that last bit is... Sorry. Okay, so so far the whole thing. Finally, 5th fret of the 5th string, the A string, 3rd fret, uh, and then 1st fret. So you got, so after that goes, first fret, bottom E string, 5th uh, fret, sorry, 5th string, the A string, 5th fret, 5th string, 3rd fret, 5th string, 1st fret, 5th string. And then we're into the, the, your whip, uh, the whip cracking bit, okay? So very slowly, the whole thing, sorry, it's a bit messy, but this is, uh, I mean, by all means, change it around a bit if you like, or change the fingering. Just because I do it one way doesn't mean it's the right way, okay? I'm just playing it to the way it's more comfortable for me, okay? If you find a better way, use it, okay? So here we go, slowly.
Right, hopefully that's made sense to you. Okay, uh, then we come to the uh, the chord crack, whip, whip cracking bit. Now this is the best I can, I think this is right, I'm not saying it's perfect, but I think it's as near as I can hear it in my ears, okay? So it's, first one is, right, so it's A, then you hit it again, and then you do, so two hits on D, back to A, so it's, okay? Now the second one is different, okay? And the third one, so. That's the first one. Bit of a pause, and then you go D. Just a single one on, sorry, a single one on the A, sorry. So it's A, A again, two lots on D, back to A, so it's. The second one is one hit on the A, and then two hits on the D, and then back to A, so it's. That's the second one, okay? The first one is. Right, so let's do the first one is, second one is, and the third one is the same as the second one. So now we've got, right, from the beginning of it. Okay, and the last one is the same as the first one, but with an E on the end. So it's, right, so it's, one on the A, second one on the A, two lots on D, instead of going back to A, you go to E, and then back to A for the first verse. So slowly, the whole thing of the, uh, the whip cracking bit. Slowly, even slower. into the verse. Right, here we go. A, you, hear my E verse, on the A, cross the sand, is a C sharp minor, full fret bar, minor shape. You can play a simple version if you like, like that, but preferable bar chord if you can. So it's A, you, E minor, to E A rather C sharp minor, cross the sand. D if if A you should return. Stay on A to that black barren land that bears the E major of Tanner. Back to this whip, whip cracking bit again. the verse exactly the same okay so shall we do the whole thing up to that point yeah up to the second verse okay so right from the intro okay try and get this in Let's try that one again. <laughs> Let's try that again. Once the 
to the bridge section okay so when you do the uh, that uh, whip section again at the end of the second verse it goes uh, and flip and so you stay on the E okay after you come out of that and the footprints stay on the E and footprints like the new, uh, sorry the footprints leave no traces and the D shadows can move the places and we A used to go E again and the buildings of the just now the D's now the pictures A A right so coming out of that last second verse The footprints leave no traces, and the shadows move in places where we used to go. And the buildings open to the sky, all let go with the vulture sky to the show. A7. Right, so an A chord to an A7. Open up the third string. Just a second on the fourth, second on the second string, okay? D. Our love was for an E. A. D way, so it's A, so it comes into that uh, A seventh. Our D love was for an E way, then A doom to pass a D way. In Xanad A do D minor, in Xanad in Xanad intro Xanad do. And then it comes into an instrumental with the old trumpets, and that's it's the same as the mid, the middle break, okay? A seven D E A D D D minor is it? And then he gives another final verse, was it? Was it? Was it? No, it's so and so on. I get the last verse. Sorry, I'm a bit. I've got the cat put me off now. <laughs> so there goes in the final verse and another chorus, etc. So you've got all the bits you need to play the whole song. Okay. So it's a bit miss. Uh, a bit. Um, uh, stop and starty but uh, it's, there's some awkward bits there to show you okay so thanks very much hope you uh, understood what I was trying to get there and I'll see you in the next lesson bye for now